Uh, during the 1990s, as we were uh, putting our plan up to date and, and going to meetings and explaining it in draft form, uh, explaining how it would operate, uh, we were able to get the confidence of our board and our, our members in the four counties that this was a useful tool that they could uh, uh, depend on Ohio EPA uh, to use in making its permitting decisions. And it's not unusual for uh, entities to say, well, we'll go along with this, but uh, um, we'll see what happens. And uh, I think very significant early on, um, Ohio EPA delayed some permit decisions until the appropriate 208 planning process had been completed um, for that area of, uh, where the discharge permit was located. That got everyone's attention. Uh, that pointed out the relevance of the clean water plan to all parties, public and private. And from that point on, uh, we had much faster and greater cooperation from our members, um, from the uh, consulting world who were working for our, our counties and, and communities. Uh, uh, they understood that they had to pay attention to this plan. Uh, we, we NEFCO, developed an efficient uh, uh, amendment process. Um, we tried to envision as many scenarios as we could. And uh, Keith Riley, who was, um, he was almost a, uh, uh, a staff member because he, he seemed to know the plan as well as our staff did. Uh, he communicated how, um, you know, th this isn't NEFCO's plan, it's not Ohio EPA's plan, it's the community and county's plan. And, and when they saw that, they saw that they started to make the connection, connect the dots between how this is a planning tool. Um, it allows for all parties on a particular discharge or a particular uh, sewer extension or plant expansion. Uh, it provides for uh, that public input, um, it provides for the uh, occasional intergovernmental squabbles uh, to be discussed and solutions uh, developed so that when, in our case, the NEFCO General Policy Board made a decision on a, uh, an amendment or a plan update, they were doing so with the confidence that the locals uh, behind that plan fully understood what it meant and it wasn't something being thrust on them. And that was uh, a key step in, I would say, NEFCO's history. It uh, provided clear rev relevance to our, our locals, our dues paying members, as to how useful we could be to them. Uh, it was still all about protecting clean water, but we were able to show them how this, this was a process that they could use uh, to their advantage.